Now, let's talk about the ceasefire talks taking place in Doha today, uh, Iris, because Hamas says it's not taking part, but it is set to be briefed by the mediators in any other negotiation as well. Ceasefire talks, Israel and Hamas would not be sitting uh, in the same room, would they? That's right. They have never sat in the same room. You know, that's going back um, many previous conflicts, 2014 after that as well. So it, that is not so unusual. You know, what is unusual? I guess it's a little bit of theatrics, them saying we won't be there. Nevertheless, they are in Doha. They will be briefed. Uh, the difference, I guess, is that Ismail Haniya the, was one of the negotiators. Uh, he was taken out in a targeted killing by Israel in Tehran a couple of weeks ago. Uh, never, you know, I'm not even sure what, how much of a difference that makes since he was a, a negotiator. He wasn't a decision maker. The decision maker was Yahya Sinwar back uh, in the tunnels beneath Gaza. That situation remains the same. And the person who is now the negotiator or speaking on behalf of Yehya Sinwar is actually closer to him uh, than Hania was. So that's all a bit of inside baseball. I guess what I'm saying to you is if they want to reach an agreement, they can even in these circumstances. Iris, we've had so many ceasefire talks that have taken place. We've been on the cusp of them. We've been on the 100-yard line. I don't know how many expressions uh, we've had. We've even had the U.S. president, I recall, uh, standing in an ice cream shop, licking his ice cream, saying, by this weekend, and then talks fell through. Are these talks any different? You know, it's very hard to say. I have heard assessments that are more optimistic and I've heard people who remain as pessimistic as they were the last time, uh, even when Joe Biden was licking that ice cream and saying it would all be all right. So I think we have to wait and see. We have to see if the 10-month mark that we've reached, if the high death toll, the record death toll in Gaza, if all those things, the assassination of the Hamas military leader, Mohammed Def, if all those things make a difference to Yahya Sinwar at this point, or they don't. And I think that's really what we're waiting to see. Uh, and I'm not going to take a side and say what I think, because whatever I think say will be wrong. We'll see how, how things pan out. Uh, thank you very much for that, Iris. Iris Mackler reporting there for us from Jerusalem.